Hello, my lovely Jimmy Gems. How are you? It is B, and we are here to go over your reading for February 2024. I wish uh, all of you uh, to have the most beautiful 2024 ever, and I hope it is uh, treating you well. Uh, thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. For those of you that wish to subscribe, please make sure you click on that subscribe button and ensure that the uh, bell is activated so you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. Uh, for those of you that have listened to my readings before and you've subscribed and if you're not getting notified, uh, please unsubscribe and resubscribe, okay? So you can reset uh, that algorithm so you will be, uh, again, immediately notified when I post my videos. All right, for those of you wishing to get a reading with me, for those of you wishing to uh, get a membership to my website or donate to my channel, the links are below. I'd like to thank everyone who's ever gotten a reading from me. I'd like to thank everyone who is, you know, uh, donating to my channel, helping me out in any way. Commenting is huge. Um, it helps the algorithm with engagement as well or through engagement. So let's go ahead and let's see what's going on for the beautiful Geminis. Gems, what do we have for you? February 2024, this is the major arcana themes for general home life, family life, love and romance, as well as work life and social life. Let's go ahead and pray over the back. Okay, gems, here's your general energy. Here is home life and family life. Here is love and romance. And here is work life and social life. Let's get your overall advice for the month of February 2024. Here's your overall advice. Let's get your romance and love overarching energy, Geminis. There it is. There we go. All right, Gems, what do we have going on with you for this upcoming February 2024 time frame? Please remember this could be happening to you now. This could be happening to you in February. But for some of you, it may be happening in March. Okay, so just pay attention with what is coming through for you as it relates to these energies. General energies are the hermit. So, Geminis, you're researching something. Um, you might be deciding to take hiatus or to take respite from a situation, isolating yourself. So Geminis, what could be happening here is that maybe you put yourself out there, okay? Maybe you're out in the public eye for whatever reason, but you are understanding the need for you to sometimes take a break, sometimes give yourself 24 hours, give yourself 48 hours before you launch into being out in the public eye again. Okay, Jem, so this is certainly coming through here. You could be researching new ways to handle your business, researching new ways to assist things at work or within the home and the family. Uh, you could also be looking into something uh, from the past. Now, the thing is, is when certain major arcanas come up, 
and if they are pointing towards the past, we're going to have to clarify this card. We have to. Now, it won't be with the clarifiers if, for example, this gets selected for a clarifier. We're going to clarify this regardless. Okay, so just want to make you aware of that. This could also be the energy of Virgo, which is all about health and well-being. You might be more focused on your health, your well-being, the management of your household, uh, the management of your life in general. Uh, there could be some energies here of being of service to others, sacrificing for others, as well as your daily duties, uh, looking into things before you launch, before you say yes, before you include other people into your life. It's almost as though, Geminis, I'm feeling like you want to make sure that the people around you are very trustworthy. You want to make sure the people around you are um, worth their salt, okay? So for, for some of you Geminis, there might be something regarding salt or sodium that might be coming through here as well. So just want to let you know about all of that. But let's go ahead and let's see what's coming in um, as it relates to the Hermit for the psychic downloads. And please remember the Hermit also portends physician energy, um, taking care of your body, taking care of yourself, taking care of others. So this could be coming through here as well. So let's see what we've got coming in for the Hermit psychically. <clears throat> Geminis, you are being asked to do something that perhaps you did not anticipate happening. This could be working with someone that you found them to have questionable backgrounds. Uh, this could be uh, doing things that perhaps you just don't even like or you don't even care for but you're doing it out of a labor of love you're doing it out of ensuring that um, there's a level of unity there's a level of camaraderie there's a level of working together in a situation okay so let's see what else i'm getting psychically from the hermit Some of you Geminis are having a hard time sleeping, okay? I just want to make this very, very clear. There's an energy here of not being able to sleep, not being able to turn off, you know, that monkey mind, okay? They call it the monkey brain or the monkey mind where you're, you're like here, there, everywhere. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. I got to do that. So... In essence, what the hermit is saying is slow down a little bit. Just slow down a little bit. Very difficult to tell a Gemini that because Geminis don't slow down. They don't, unless they're sick, unless they're not feeling well. Um, but you don't want to get to that point. You don't want to get to the point where you're not feeling well. You don't want to get to the point where you're unable to perform in a manner which will uh, bring in success for you or even success for other people. So just be aware of that. Now, again, we are going to clarify this. We absolutely are, okay? Regardless if it gets selected or not, okay? Because you're looking into something in your past, all right? So we got to find out what's over here, all right? What's going on with home life and family life? Justice. Rebalancing the scales. Absolutely. Dealing with a Libra. Okay, you might be dealing with a Libra right now. Making sure there's fairness, there's equality, and there's justice in situations. Doing your part as well as someone else doing their part. Okay, sometimes when things come up, that we're not expecting, um, that we're having to look into from the past, okay? It helps to 
even though maybe at the time, it feels like, oh my gosh, here we go again, okay? Here we go again, um, you know, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've, I've, I've got to learn how to manage, you know, how I am communicating with people. Am I communicating in a fair way? And am I communicating in, an, you know, an equal way? Am I communicating in a judicious way? Okay, but it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop, Gemini, your own internal compass. It doesn't stop your own internal integrity. It doesn't stop your own internal principles. So sometimes Geminis have a very, very hard time with um, what is required of them to achieve a goal versus what it is they truly feel is the truth. What it is they truly feel is a lie. How do you call that out? How do you rebalance those scales within the home and within the family? There might be a home or a family situation that is dealing with some sort of legal ramification that's dealing with some sort of court case that could be dealing with attorneys, lawyers, judges, um, uh, military people, police officers. All of this is coming through here with the home and the family. Um, as it relates to the home also, uh, rebalancing the home, okay? Whatever obligation you have towards the home, whatever obligation somebody else has towards the home, this is now getting rebalanced, okay? This is getting um, put on the right foot, all right? So let me see what I'm getting psychically from the Justice card. Gemini, you're going to win. Whatever this is, you're going to win because you're coming from a place of pure balance. You're coming from a place of evidence. You're coming from a place of... There, there's something regarding justification. So you have been justified. There is justification here. That is what I am getting. <clears throat> if you have been in a situation where you've had to let some things slide or let some things go or not give as much time to, you are going to be um, pulling that back in and rebalancing it out and ensuring that everybody is on the same page. I, I do love this for you. Gemini, because Gemini, you have such a beautiful reciprocal energy with Libra, okay? And you understand Librans, maybe even better than they understand themselves. Because remember, Librans are always trying to find the balance. They're always trying to find, you know, how can I make this work better? How can I do this better? How can, how can I... Um, create a level of sanctuary where I am at, where there's, where there's no fighting, there's no altercations, there's no um, misunderstandings between people. You're helping with this. You're, I, I think you're helping a Libra in the home and in the family for uh, whatever this means for you, Gemini. Or like I said, something that has to do with justice, something that has to do with the legal system, something that has to do with court cases. Definitely coming through here. And as it relates to the home and family, this is portending some great uh, successes having to do with anything that your family or your home or your possessions has been dealing with. It's going to calm down. It's going to you know, resolve itself. Possibly through some sort of research in the past, looking at something from the past, uh, giving, 
I'm hearing giving credit where credit is due. Okay, Gemini. What do we have for love life and romantic life? The chariot. Great victory in romance and in love. You know, Gemini, I find this fascinating, but your significant other is looking at you differently. They're looking at you as someone who knows what they're talking about. They're looking at you as someone who wants to keep the peace. They're looking at you as someone who asks the right questions. They're looking at you as someone who can help them to move forward in a very successful and um, profound way, actually. Um, Gemini, you might be dealing with a lot of people from all different areas of life, all different backgrounds, all different ethnicities. Your significant other might be bringing this up at this point. There could be conversation, Gemini, with a significant other about transportation, their transportation, a child's transportation, your transportation, getting a new car, getting car maintenance done, all of that could be coming through here. But this is also travel in general. So many of you Geminis are going to be traveling. You are going to be taking vacation. You are going to be moving to and fro from this place to this place to this place to this place. And what I love about this Gemini is that your significant other is supporting you with all of this travel and movement in order to create the victory that you're looking for. For those of you that are not in a relationship right now um, and looking for a relationship right now, um, you may move. You may move. You may be saying, look, I've looked all over the place in this town. I've looked all over the place in this city and I am... I am in desire, I am desiring more balance, more justice, more equality, more fairness in my life, in my home, in my family. And right now, I'm not finding what I need here. I have to be someplace else to find those partnerships and those love relationships I'm looking for. Some of you might be meeting somebody who is of a different nationality than you. Uh, they could have a different ethnic background. They could have a different uh, place where they came from. So let's just say you're Scandinavian, okay? You're meeting somebody who's Italian, okay? Say you're English. You're meeting somebody who's Italian or Russian or, or Persian or anything like that, okay? You're, you're meeting people or you are considering uh, being with someone that just has different uh, background than you have. What other psychic download am I getting from this? Like I said, you are possibly talking about a vacation. You're asking a lot of questions. Your partner is asking a lot of questions. You know, what do we need to do in order to have a successful vacation? And I know that seems a little bit odd, but um, sometimes, you know, when we have obligations in our life, we have to make sure that those obligations are tied up and we got to make sure everything's good before we decide to take some sort of hiatus or before we decide to move out beyond. All right. Could be dealing with Cancerian energy here as well. Some of you Geminis, I'm hearing, um, especially if you're looking for somebody or even if you're not, uh, you've got friends coming over, they're waiting for you in the car, hop in the car, let's go to this concert, let's go to this bar, let's go to this restaurant, let's go to this event together. And you may meet somebody there. There is a need, however, in love and romance to ask a lot of questions. Um, and perhaps when that question gets answered, 
ask another question and, and get to the root cause of a situation as well. I'm hearing for some of you, Geminis, you're being accompanied by um, this entourage of people, like you're being accompanied uh, to events or to locations uh, that are coming through here as well. It's as though, Gemini, it's like you're arriving somewhere. And you arrive with an entourage or not, okay? But when you leave, you've got this entourage of people. Gemini, do you need a ride? Gemini, do you need any assistance? Gemini, um, how can I help you? Gemini, what, what can I do to you know, help you with, ever, with whatever this endeavor is to rebalance the scales, to look into something a little bit deeper? I'm willing to offer my services for you. And I know that's a little bit odd being in the romance and love section, but that is what I am getting. What is going on with work life and social life? Oh, the emperor. Whoa, Gemini. So Gemini, you are seen as the emperor in your social life and in your work life. You are large and in charge. You have your internal controls. You are very kind, understanding, and receptive to what other people are telling you. You're very strategic as well. You're gathering information I'm hearing. This could be a father figure as well. So a father figure might be playing a very, very large role in your work life as well as your financial life. This could be a boss. Uh, this could be CEO, VP, president, whatever, um, playing a large role here. Someone is very stubborn. They're not moving. They're not moving. They're not going to move. But what I find so interesting, is that you or is that this other person? It may be a little bit of both in your social life, in your work life. You may be very staunch, but you may also be dealing with someone who's very staunch. As it relates to foundations, as it relates to stability, as it relates to control, as it relates to uh, wisdom. Let me see what I'm getting psychically from the emperor. <clears throat> you know, a lot of you Geminis, you may have someone out there. It doesn't matter if you're a masculine or a feminine, okay? But you may have somebody out there in your social life, social world, you look at them as a great father figure or they are looking at you as a great father figure, an entrepreneur, someone in control, someone in the face of the public, someone that they can respect. Fascinating, Gemini. Fascinating. I love this energy for you. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle these cards. We're going to get two clarifiers. But remember, we are also going to be clarifying what it is this hermit is looking into from the past. Because they're interested in something from the past. What are the two cards for Gemini? What do we need to clarify? These are the two cards we're going to clarify. So we are not going to clarify love and romance. Ah, and we're not going to clarify the hermit, but we are going to clarify the hermit. Okay. And the cards being clarified also are justice and the emperor. So we are clarifying home and family, and we are also clarifying 
the emperor for work life and social life. <clears throat> All right. Geminis, what are you looking at from the past? What is going on? What's catching your interest in the past? Okay. Why is there this new feeling of fairness and justice working in your favor with home and family? Things getting rebalanced and looked at uh, in such a way that uh, puts you in a positive light? And what is going on with why the public is looking at you as a leader, is looking at you as the emperor, um, showing that you're giving great stability and great foundational energy and wisdom uh, to people around you as well as uh, people at work. Okay, Gems, why? is this hermit. I'm going to move this over just a tad. So this is a, off the screen. Make sure you can see it. What are you looking back on? What is catching your interest from the past? Let's see what's going on here. Aha, Knight of Cups, offers. Emotional offers, loving offers, kind offers. It's so interesting, Gemini, Gemini. You've got to let me know about this because this is what I'm feeling. So Geminis tend to be very transactional for the most part. Um, they're more analytical. They're not as emotional. Not saying that they cannot be emotional. Not saying that they don't have feelings. But they tend to be more transactional. And they see things as a transaction. They see things as um, what can I get out of it? What can you get out of it? Now, the interesting thing about this is, is you are looking at yourself and your situation in the past where someone offered you something and you're digging deeper, you're looking into it deeper. But this could also be you looking back on something that someone else offered someone else. Usually it's a love offer. Usually it's an, an offer of emotional like camaraderie, intimacy of some sort. So you're interested in this. So I must say, Gemini, um, you are, or you have been, in a situation where you are questioning what someone's intentions are towards someone that you love or that you care for. You're also questioning what someone's intentions are as it relates to how they're treating you. Because I see Geminis on high alert. Because they want to maintain this control, this foundation. Uh, they, they don't want to be knocked off their rocker. So in order to do that, you want to potentially get to the source of why was that person so nice to me? Why did that person offer that to me? Why did that person offer that to, the, to my child, to, to my significant other, to my sister, my brother? What's going on here? Okay, and this is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Okay, so this is what is being looked into into the past why is justice here with home and family the star wow okay so the star is about hopes wishes dreams goals and a wish being granted feeling vulnerable but also feeling very strong in your convictions in yourself and because you're willing to be vulnerable, because you're willing to sacrifice, because you're willing to not let go of your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, or your goals, um, things are getting rebalanced. I'm hearing steadfast, steadfast. 
So many of you Geminis are very steadfast within the home. Um, Geminis, you might be involved in astrology or you might be involved in the esoterics. Um, the planets seem to be lining up for you so that justice is ruled in your favor with your home and your family or within your home and your family. Why is the emperor here? This could be an Aquarius person as well. Justice for an Aquarian person is what you're looking for. Very interesting. It's either justice for the Aquarian or justice for you as it relates to the Aquarian. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Why is the emperor here for work life and social life? Aha, seven of wands. Remember what I said over here. Why is someone being nice to me? Why are they offering their services to me? Why are they being emotionally supportive? Um, why are they trying to befriend me? See, I think for many of you Geminis, you are realizing this is just how somebody operates. And what you're doing is you're saying to yourself, I don't know that I trust them. I just don't know if I trust them or not. That's for some of you. For others of you, uh, the Seven of Wands comes in and is basically saying, um, I'm going to defend my position. I'm in a good position. I'm going to defend my position. I'm going to defend my foundational energy, my strategic energy, my wisdom. I'm going to defend that right now. I'm not going to allow anybody to get me off track. I'm not going to allow anybody to, you know, uh, try to bamboozle me. Uh, that's not going to be happening. You didn't fall off the turnip truck yesterday, Gemini. You've been through a lot in your life. And certain things and certain observations are coming through where you know what questions to ask. You know what topics to address. That's what I'm seeing here. Some of you might be very defensive with somebody's father. Or some of you might be very, very defensive with a boss or, you know, a president, CEO, CFO, VP, whatever. Like there could be some, some defensiveness here. <clears throat> okay. So what is the overarching energy for love and romance? The X. Yeah. So you may be dealing with your ex right now. Your ex wants to come and see you. Your ex wants to travel with you. Your ex wants to get involved in your business. Uh, that could be... Um, this could be somebody claiming to be your ex. I, I have to be honest with you, Gemini. Like somebody's claiming that you were dating or somebody's claiming that you were together or somebody's claiming that um, something happened between you two. And um, I just don't know if this is true. It's almost like Gemini, like, what are you trying to get out of this? Like, why are you trying to claim me? Why are you trying to uh, be victorious over me in this situation? You know, this could also be, if you're seeing somebody right now, the ex might be infiltrating or the ex might be causing issues or problems. And again, remember, we do have justice here. And this is all about um, balancing the scales and it's all about justice, court cases, legal cases, all of that is coming through.
your ex or somebody else's ex might be sending pictures as they're traveling, as they're in other locations. But I feel for many of you Geminis, this is victory over the ex. Victory over the ex. This could be an ex-friend. This could be an ex-partner or an ex-business partner as well. Again, remember, you're in a situation right now where you are researching why someone wants to come back in your life or someone wants to be part of your life. What is your advice, Gemini? Break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, and rewriting the future. It's time for your future, Gemini. I don't know that I would necessarily give too much time or effort into the X. You've got a lot bigger fish to fry right now. You are in a position where you are known as a staunch and strong and emperor-like energy. You don't want to weaken yourself. So you're breaking those patterns of giving people the benefit of the doubt. Now you're saying, prove it. I'm not moving. I'm not going anywhere. Prove it. This is what you could be saying to someone. Someone could be saying this to you. But you're healing a situation as it relates to how you've been treated in the past, how you've been uh, bamboozled in the past, how you've been approached in the past, how you have had people say, oh, we're all about Team Gemini when they turn out and they sabotage you. You are all about, hey, we're going to heal from that. And we're going to make sure that we don't repeat those same mistakes over and over again. This is what I'm feeling, Gemini. Wow, profound energy, Gemini, for you for February 2024. Remember, Gemini, your energy is in the ninth house right now. So the sun is illuminating foreign people, foreign lands, people, politics, legal law, the occult, the occult astrology, higher education, looking at the hermit and research, snake oil salesman for some of you, optimism, defending your vision, expansion not being stuck in the past so the sun is illuminating this for you right now Gemini I wish you all the best Gemini's take care of yourselves much light much love many blessings and catch you on the flip side